here as kind of a filmmaker? What was your interest? Because I don't think you were going over like, like really looking for God the Father. You saw an interesting story and you wanted to do some kind of a film or movie, right? You caught me. I caught you, okay. It's funny, I, I've done a few interviews recently with the film and people are on Twitter are saying, so you're telling me that your motivation for this film is that you wanted to go to Sundance and use these people to tell the story that was gonna be significant enough for you to make a career? And I'd say, yes, now you all fess up about all your selfish motivations for things. Yeah. Uh, I, I definitely saw a golden ticket in this movie. So um, you went for selfish reasons, really, <laughs> yeah. and you thought you saw a good ticket because it looked yep. like an interesting story yep. that you could do a film or documentary on, correct? Yeah, I thought I could put their lives on my hard drives <laughs> and come home, and then I could be at Sundance Film Festival like I'd always dreamed about since I was a little kid. <laughs> and uh, I, I set out to win Sundance and got saved instead. <laughs> all right, all right. Now they have a different plan. <laughs> Tell me why. Because you, you talk about saved like it's not some religious term. It's like, <laughs> hey, man, I got rescued from the deep. I mean, I, you better I mean, believe I'm it. Really, I'm, I was dead and I'm alive. Yes, I mean, sir. it sounds like joy to me. So yes, what sir. happened? What, what caused this encounter, this, this transformation? Well, uh, I didn't think I needed to be saved, to be honest with you. My book is a song for the suburbs. It's for all the people that don't think they need to be saved because they didn't run a Mexican cartel or almost overdose on heroin or, or murder somebody. But uh, a little kid came up to me, eight years old, at a screening and said, what was your greatest mistake in life? And I said, how old are you? <laughs> what are you asking me that for? And he said, I just want to know. And I turned to him and I said, without stuttering, I said, my greatest mistake in life was thinking I was too good to need God's forgiveness. Wow. And then he ran away. <laughs> and I said, don't forget, <laughs> you <know? laughs> you'll need that, <laughs> you know. This, this, did this pastor and what he was doing, is that, is that what opened your eyes to see something far greater than you envisioned? Pastor Lee was the proof to me, you know. Um, I thought Christianity was kind of a joke, to be honest with you. I thought evangelicals were even bigger joke. Very ignorant, hateful people trying to think they're better than everybody else. But what I found out is that Christians aren't the perfect people. They're the people who think and know in their souls they're not even good, but that they're still wanted and loved, right? Yes. And so for me, seeing Pastor Lee was seeing living proof of a loving God. And what I love is coming on shows like this and getting to be proof of Him, right? Mm -hmm. It was two things. The first thing was hearing a sermon about the cross, listening to the sermon on a computer, the same computer I'd been addicted to pornography on for six years. Mm -hmm. I should say enslaved, because that's really what it was. Mm. Really abusive relationships that I was in. I had huge anger issues. I would scream at girls I was in relationship with, throw things, kick chairs. I'm serious, behind closed doors. God sees our hearts, right? This is the thing. People don't want to say this stuff, but I have to say it's not fun for me. But I have to say it because I want people to understand that you need to be forgiven, but forgiveness is the road home. So it was the cross as a stake in the ground in my life saying, you need to be forgiven, son. But the Father is adopting love, saying, I want you even in the pit, even in your darkest places, to bring you home, just like this man reached into a box and pulled a helpless child out. In terms of living forever, I was helpless too. Pulled out through the laundry room into the light. And that's my story.